Unplug and remove the power. Using a number two screwdriver, remove all screws from the front control panel. Remove the control panel to access the wiring. Pull out and disconnect the sensor from the panel. Clip and remove the two cable ties that include the sensor wires. Be sure not to clip any additional wires that are also combined. Open the ferrite block and unwrap all of the wires found within. Save the block as it will be used again. The sensor has now been disconnected. Replace the control panel using one screw to hold it in place. From the back of the unit, remove the bottom protection plate. Remove the back cover by loosening the top three screws. Then remove all remaining screws. Carefully remove the styrofoam. Remove all screws from the refrigeration sled assembly. At the bottom of the unit, clip the black cable tie attached to the power cord. Remove the refrigeration sled assembly. Keeping it close to the unit, pull it backwards, rotating to the side to reduce movement of additional wiring and cords. Remove the evaporator sensor from the evaporator plate by removing the white cable ties. Remove the two screws from the power supply, allowing room to access the air sensor mount. Pull on the air sensor and remove it from its holder. Remove the sensor lock cap towards the top of the unit by hand or by wrench. Using a wrench, loosen and unscrew the sensor connector. Unscrew the sensor wiring harness and allow it to hang from the cabinet. Remove the control panel and locate the temperature sensor wiring harness. Make sure the wires of the sensor are free from all other wires. Bend the sensor wires sideways and either push or pull through the hole in the back of the unit. The sensor harness can now be removed. Open and unwind all of the wires from the bag of replacement sensors. In the back of the unit, push the silver or metal hex sensor into the white holder until you feel it snap. The evaporator sensor will be placed on the top of the sixth evaporator coil from the bottom. Pictured here is the old evaporator sensor used for replacement. Using the old sensor replacement, attach the sensor to the coil with the two white cable ties. Cable ties can be placed first, leaving room to slide in the sensor. When the sensor is in place, secure ties, but do not over tighten them. Clip the excess cable ties when complete. This is the new style of evaporator sensor starting in September 2020. A silver aluminum body with a black line will identify this sensor. Using the new evaporator sensor replacement, angle the sensor with the tip tied to the seventh coil, then secure the sensor body and the sensor cable to the sixth coil with two cable ties. Clip the excess cable ties when complete. Attach the power supply back onto the unit. Carefully replace the screws, making sure not to strip the threads. Slide the sensor connector through the fitting and feed through any excess wiring. Before screwing in the connector, put a small amount of silicone or tape on the threading. With adhesive applied, screw in the connector. Loosen the cap from the connector, allowing wires to spin or move. Make sure to have enough wire out between the connector and the air sensor. Tighten the connector using a wrench. Replace the cap once the connector is secure. Tighten the cap using a wrench. Clean and remove any loose items not needed in the unit. Replace the refrigeration sled assembly making sure all cords and tubes are lined with the sled. Important, make sure to place the drip tube into the drip tray. Lift and slide the sled into place. To hold the refrigeration sled in place, use one screw at the top of the unit. Next, rotate through all eight screws to finalize the sled install. Important, turn the screws with a screwdriver counterclockwise until it clicks into place. Finish all screws with a power drill to secure in place but do not over tighten. Carefully replace the styrofoam insulation. Slide the back panel into the three screws left in place, then secure and close the unit. Pull gently on the power cord and use a black cable tie to secure the cord near the panel. 
This will hold the cord in place, allowing it not to go into the unit. Clip any excess cable tie from the power cord. Slide the shield back in place and secure it with all screws. At the front control panel, using the ferrite block, wrap the wires through once and snap shut to secure the sensor wires. Paying close attention to the locking tab on the sensor cable, secure the cable to the main circuit board. Using the white cable ties, secure the ferrite block and wires to the inside of the control panel. Bundle the remainder of the wires and secure it with the white cable ties. Make sure the area around the gasket is clean before securing the control panel back in place with screws. Important, be sure not to over tighten, causing the gasket to distort. Plug in and power on the 5800 refrigerated sampler. It is now time to configure and run diagnostics to ensure quality and the correct install. With configure blinking, press the enter key. Press the left up arrow button twice to get run diagnostics, then press the enter key. Press the left up arrow button seven times to get refrigeration temperature and press the enter key. Here you will find the air and evap sensor numbers. With compressor on, both air and evap numbers will be dropping showing no asterisk symbol. You will notice the evap sensor will get cold first before the air sensor. Once completed, return to the main menu. Hit exit twice, then hit enter when you see exit configuration. This will bring you back to the beginning to restart your program as appropriate. The installation and quality check are now complete.